So in this video, I just want to quickly address some uh, craziness that's going on in Ireland at the moment. Um, literally, a woman got off jail time when it was found she robbed 13,000 euros from a crash. Number one, Satan is trying to impoverish the creches. Two, councils are actually talking about fighting against log cabins. Like when you think about that, like you might actually say those people have lost the plot. They're actually fighting log cabins. These are inanimate buildings that mean nobody any harm. Meanwhile, there's a lack of housing. Here's a way of solving the housing crisis. Let's prevent people from building anything. If anything, that should lead people to hold this government accountable for the absolute fraudulent, treasonous, seditious, grand larceny that is going on right now in Ireland. They're paying farmers not to farm, applying a false value to farming in general, grand larceny, using taxpayers' money to prevent farmers farming. When it, they are tasked with building infrastructure, they keep talking about a housing crisis, but not a housing solution. They keep talking about the crisis and never the solution. So we're seeing a move of the devil here. It's very clear. He's trying to destroy infrastructure, which pressurizes the nation. He's trying to impoverish crashes. You might say that was one instance where a woman stole 13,000 from a crash. Well, that was one instance that was reported. The point is that Satan is trying to impoverish the creches because the devil knows, governments know, that if they're funding something, they have a say in how it's run. So they try to create the conditions where people come to them with their hands out so they get a say. And then the wizards that Satan has put in government try to implement satanic rhetoric to fill the children's heads with immoral and anti-Christian bilge. You know, like stuff like tell Timmy he should be, you know, uh, Melanie instead. Things like that. So, you know, let's get the George to visit the crash at the weekend or we'll all meet down the park and dress in rainbows you know that kind of craziness that's what the devil is um, trying to bring into the crashes so if he can impoverish them and you know the, everybody says oh fair play to the crashes they're all up there waving their fists about getting some money from the government yeah they're basically waving their fists at the government when the government have ushered them into that position like the, the government didn't expect this to happen, you know. This is all orchestrated. Witches and wizards are corralling these events and uh, people in these events and ushering people into these situations and then encouraging them to respond in the way that they want them to respond, which plays right into their hands so that they can gain more control. Imagine writing in the local newspapers that you're actually fighting against log cabins. And Leo Varadkar saying, the government's job was to bring this referendum. What? The government's job was never to ch chuck women out of the constitution. It's to implement women's rights. That's their primary function, not to remove them. So rightly, the women neglect, sorry, rather rejected the uh, referendum. And no wonder Leo Varadkar ran for the hills and resigned from his office. 
because he's on TV saying, no, the people weren't wrong in what they voted, but it was our job to oppose them. What? That's mad. It's no surprise that he liked it. So the devil is actively telling this government to do the exact opposite of what we pay them to do. Meanwhile, they're telling you that's exactly what you should expect them to be doing. So when your government are using your taxpayers' money to prevent the building of your infrastructure, that's when you put them in jail. We lost the fight against log cabins. Ah, oh, ah, oh no. Now people will have somewhere to live. It's mental what these people in government are being allowed to get away with. Because according to the laws of this land, they should all be in jail. They should all be in jail. Witchcraft is rife in this country at governmental level. All the boys down the Freemasonic Lodge holding all the seats. Sure isn't Michael D. Higgins a Freemason? At least that's what a Freemason told me. Unless he wants to deny it. But that's what you're up against. Freemasons who want satanic rhetoric in all the syllabus, in all the universities, in all the creches and kindergartens and all the schools. Let's abandon convention and the usual model of the family and everything that we know works to preserve the common good in society. Yeah, let's just thrash that. And turn everything upside down on its head and then complain that when it doesn't work and we'll call it a crisis as though it's out of our hands and we didn't know that's what we were doing. It's very simple. In order to have a country, you need farms and houses. Number one. That's your primary function. And then the infrastructure facilitates all the other rights. It's like our government are now lying to us, telling us that 1270 or 1310 or whatever currently is, a very small amount, is minimum wage. No, it isn't. Minimum wage in Ireland is gainful employment. So ask anyone in Ireland, is 1270 enough to buy a house and feed your family and your pregnant wife? Uh, imagine going to the bank asking for a mortgage and they look at your wage packet and it shows that you're on 1270 an hour. Do you think they'd give you a mortgage? It's not funny, guys. It's mental. It's mad that those people are not in jail who, who are telling you minimum wage is 12.70 when the Irish Constitution says that minimum wage is gainful employment. And gainful employment sees you in a house able to pay for your family as a man. So this government are committing treason telling us minimum wage is 12.70. Treason. Treason actual treason and then they're coming up with these terms presumptively constitutional when you cannot presume on the evidence the constitution is the evidence of the law it's the written law you can't presume on the evidence presumption is only made in the lack of evidence so you can't presume on the constitution because it's written down this is not rocket science so these people literally should be in prison, according to the laws of Ireland. They're committing treason and sedition. They're committing grand larceny. They're buying potatoes from Spain while they're refusing to buy the spuds off the Irish lads. They're trying to collapse the country, to enslave it. And enough is enough. You have, they should be in jail. Is there any surprise Leo Varadkar ran for the hills? It's only a matter of time, maybe, before Michael D. Higgins does. Because he's the worst culprit. He's custodian of the Constitution of Ireland. Custodian. Yet he's telling you something is presumptively constitutional. 
and he doesn't have to check the constitutionality of it as a prerequisite condition to adding a bill to the legislature? How can you be custodian of the Constitution and not check a bill for its constitutionality? What do you check it for if not its constitutionality? So these criminals should be in prison for life, probably, considering that treason used to be punishable by death. Do you see the seriousness of the crimes being committed here? They're huge crimes. Grand larceny is massive. Applying false values to farming. Applying false values to minimum wage. Lying to the people. Destroying what we know preserves the common good and implements proper economic values throughout society for the building of infrastructure and the maintenance of the common good. The preservation of the family unit. They're not doing any of that. They're working exactly against it. Well, it's sort of like, oh, boy, we lost the fight against it, preventing people from building anything to live in at all, even a, even a log cabin out the back. Yes, log, we don't have a problem with log cabins in the proper setting. Like, what setting would that be? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing of sense. All this loose, general, aggress aggressively non-committal terminology that doesn't make anybody any the wiser. They're basically destroying infrastructure and you're paying for it with your tax dollar while they lie to you about what you should expect to be paid. They make you less than a slave while they trick you by dressing you well and feeding you well from imported goods. They absolutely destroy your country. Which may, means you're a beggar. So guys, before it's too late, sack them or put them in jail or something. But you need a government who is actually going to do the job according to the written laws of this land. And fundamental to, to, to the well-functioning of any nation is basic structure, infrastructure, houses and farms. And if you can't do that, you shouldn't be anywhere near government. I wouldn't even trust you to make a sandwich in Subway. If you can't do that, five years old, five year olds playing Minecraft understand that you have to have houses and farms before you build the castles. It's ridiculous. Blessings in Jesus name. A holy kiss. Wake up, guys. Come on, women. You were kept in the Constitution. Now show us why. <laughs>